So as you all know, my favorite toy line at the moment and the one that I spend the most time collecting has been the AEW Unrivaled figures by Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys. My absolute favorite figures on the market since probably Jack Pacific Deluxe Aggression. The thing I love about these is not only the posability, but the face scans, the tattoos, the accessories, especially for someone like me that likes to display my things. They are just top notch and top of the line. So last week I scored an MJF Chase figure. Tonight Walmart said AEW figures were in stock so I'm like oh I'll go check. Usually it's been pretty accurate lately when I go to look for them. So I was like tonight I'll probably find something good. So I go to Walmart talk to the first worker. Oh yeah those were on the truck. Uh, place an order online and pick up which personally wasn't good enough for me. As someone who has worked retail before, I was like, hey, they probably have them. I just have to find the right person in the right department. So I found the right person in the right department, and he told me to give him a few minutes. And uh, he came back with a full case of AEW Unrivaled. Wasn't sure if it was going to be Series 4 or 3 because they're both in stores at the moment. Uh, AEW Unrivaled 3 more than 4. But... Tonight, I was able to pick up another Chase figure, Riho, one of 1,000. Now, the difference between this Riho and the regular release is not only is it a Chase edition, the attire is different, and this has a straight face head scan. Absolutely awesome figure. I can't believe I was able to find one in stores, especially without paying absolutely ridiculous eBay prices. So that was pretty cool. The cool thing about being able to go through the fresh case is, of course, there's only one chase per case. With this case, for example, there was no Nick Jackson. They had everybody but Nick Jackson, and the Riho chase took place of the Nick Jackson. As you can see, the straight head scan, the different attire, the belt actually on Riho. Really cool way to do the chase. And what you'll also notice is this is red, number 25. All of the chases have red numbers, like the red stickers. I'm really happy I didn't have to pay an exorbitant amount for one of these. So to be able to find one at retail and pay cost, and instead of paying a scalper, especially for someone who's a true collector like me, is really, really cool. If you haven't found an AEW chase figure yet, don't be discouraged. It took me a while to find one, and look at me. Now I have two. And the cool thing that Jazzwares is doing, and hats off to Jeremy and the crew, is they are upping the numbers, starting with Series 5, to 3,000 and 5,000, respectively, which is pretty dang cool. More chances to get that chase. If you liked this quick review of my AEW Series 3 Rio Chase figure, please click like. Please click subscribe and please share. Thank you.